Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Go Eevee. It has been a while by the time you watch this. It is now 2019. So if you guys don't follow me for my time I cross content, I guess I have to do it again. Happy New Year! And of course, if you are Japanese, Ake Mashte Omedetou Gozaimasu. So anyway, guys, let's dive into Let's Go Eevee in the year 2019. Hopefully, we should be able to finish this up. Um, I think by the end of February? I don't know, maybe even earlier than that, okay. Anyways, um, we are in Cerulean City. We're here to tackle Misty, but I think before handling Misty, what I always do is um, I will always handle the Nugget Bridge. So the thing about Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu is we no longer are able to ride bikes but instead we are able to ride Pokemon which is pretty cool but it's kind of sad that they actually removed the uh, uh, bike component of the game. I, I kind of enjoy the music for the bike, cycling, you know the cycling music that everyone is all so familiar with. Kind of sad that they kind of removed it um, and yeah that we wouldn't have a chance to experience it in the Let's Go series. Uh, so yeah, okay, let's go take a look around um, invading people's homes as usual. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I don't know, uh, in the past, what, she's gonna give me the bubble soap? Oh, oh dang. Okay, so we don't have enough Pokemon, let's go take a look at the Pokedex. Um, Okay, we have only 19 Pokemon obtained. I guess we're still quite a long way. We can come back for Bulbasaur later. Um, I, I kind of like that the, they, they incorporated this pack um, from the previous games. Where you get the starters from um, other people in the, or other, other NPCs in the game. It kind of feels like the um, anime itself where like um, Ash got his Bulbasaur, Squirtle and Charmander off from different people. Um, which is pretty fun. Okay, so what's this? Uh, no, no, I don't need to know about the badges. I really know plenty about it. <laughs> I mean, for uh, an old school Pokemon player like myself, I uh, definitely don't need to know more about them. So, um, okay, if you guys are wondering why there is no screen, uh, camera capture footage on this particular video, uh, I'm gonna make this a thing right now. Um, if if I'm recording the video in daylight in my country, um, I will not have a recording on myself mainly because of the super bright um, sun in the background of my windows. Um, it kind of makes my face very dark due to the focusing of the camera. Um, yeah, so as of this time that I'm recording, it is bright daylight. Uh, it's just a few hours before I head to work. So I decided to do a recording of the game. Here we go, Bellsprout found something. Oops. There you go. What do you got for me? Oh, okay. So let's tackle Nugget Bridge. Yeah! Oh CL, you've gotta you're you're not gonna believe these! <laughs> uh, Pokemon it <laughs> Okay, out in fright you battle me? What nonsense is this? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna whoop your ass so you regain your senses. Pidgey. Go Eevee! Okay, so I don't have an electric Pokemon. Uh, but I do have electric moves, but if you see there's this EV shaking the Joy-Con on the top of the fight button, this is only exclusive if you play the game docked. So if you play it on the go, which most people do, you will not have this option. So we're gonna do we're gonna activate EV's special move. All you do is just shake the Joy-Con like what the EV is doing. Um, then you do a show hit move that does a lot of damage. EV volley? Ooh! Okay, so. It's like a super powerful tackle, I suppose. Here we go. I should probably have left it for his last Pokemon, the Pikachu. <laughs> oh well. Alright, um, looking at Eevee level, I forgot to do something before the beginning of the adventure, but that's fine. Uh, should I almost be... Oh, we have Bite. Hmm. I don't know. Nah, do I need Bite? 
I mean, I could had I could have it to handle um, ghost Pokemon, I suppose, but I'm not gonna fight Sabrina just yet. I I mean, having the three elemental attacks is definitely uh, worth it. Quick attack, maybe I don't know. So no, I'm just gonna have maybe catch a Pokemon that can handle Psychic and Ghost Pokemon in the future. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my home moves. Here we go. So he's gonna bring out Oddish. I'm gonna keep Eevee because Eevee has fire moves. I mean, I could have brought up my PG. There we go. I would like to. I would have liked to see Let's Go series. Um, make use of the Z moves. I know it would be pretty awesome having like your Let's Go um, your partner Pokemon do uh, the Z move and they would show the animations like they did in the TV series for Sun and Moon. Oh, that would be pretty awesome. Um, okay, so I don't have anything that can handle Pikachu. Uh, do I have a Pokemon that can handle Pikachu? I guess Nidoran? Yeah, we could have Nidoran. Let's, let's have Nidoran handle Pikachu because you know he's a ground type, a bit resistant to the electric attacks. We're definitely under level. Oh, if, um, oh no, if he keeps doing double team, we're gonna have a bit of a problem. Um, let's double kick Pikachu with a groin. Uh oh, not looking good. Please go through. There we go. Okay, um. Definitely using another double kick may not kill it. I think we could go for the poison sting. Hopefully Pikachu gets poisoned, then we can have less worries about the invasion level. Okay, Pikachu didn't get poisoned. Never mind, let's try the double kick again. Um, this is not good. So there's a high chance that double kick might not go through because of the invasive level. Oh, it went through. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, rival battle completed. Uh... Okay, phew. Okay, I feel... Yeah, you needed some slapping. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I should have slapped you instead of your Pokémon. <sighs> deep breaths. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought they'll, they're, so I thought maybe I'll get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found and don't freak out when you hear this, that Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there! Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked! Yeesh! Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, CL. Well, as kids, well, if you tell me not to do something, I will definitely do it. <laughs> Alright, Eevee gave huh? a confident look. <laughs> yeah, good boy. I mean, good girl, sorry. Yeah, Eevee's now a female. <laughs> Alright, let's... There we go. Fantastic. Okay. You deserve a pat on the head. Okay, so there's this thing that I wanted to do. So in the last video, I kind of forgot to show you guys that I transferred my EV to um, Pokeball Plus. So, I do have EV in the Pokeball Plus now. So let's, let me show you guys by returning EV from the Pokemon Plus. Go and bring it back so you guys can have a see of what kind of uh, stuff that we can get from walking our Pokemon. So, Eevee is definitely gonna level up quite a bit. It's kind of a cheating mechanism for the game. <laughs> and now we are overpowered, <laughs> so Eevee can actually take over the whole game right now. 
Okay, I'm probably gonna bring another Pokemon other than Eevee the next round. So we got Swift to learn. Nah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep my own moves. Definitely, Quick Attack is better than Swift because of the speed factor. So, take down, definitely no. So the annoying part about this entire walking the Pokemon in Pokeball Plus is that the leveling up as once you, like what we just went through, if your Pokemon leveled up like a whole bunch, it's pretty good annoying because you have to go through every single level acknowledgement. That's pretty annoying. So as you can see, we walked together for about six, seventeen thousand steps. I replied once, uh, even though it called out for me, I think a few times, like five, so there we go. Um, didn't really respond because I was carrying Eevee during work, so I couldn't really hear Eevee's cries over the sound of uh, the environment around me. So, yeah. So we got a, few, a bunch of candies and all that for walking Eevee, it's pretty fantastic. Alright. Okay. Reconnecting the controller. There you go. Alright, back to the adventure. So the Pokemon Plus is definitely a very useful item. You can even use it to help you with uh, Pokemon Go uh, as a use of uh, like a Pokemon Plus device. Yeah. You know, the, the, the wrist, wrist watch looking accessory thing. Um, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, just that the Pokeball Plus is a more responsive device compared to Pogo Plus. Alright, so we do have a banner net. We're gonna burn his ass because insects are weak against fire. Apparently. There you go. And because we're overpowered, we kind of. Overkill it. <laughs> okay, so I should probably stop using Eevee until maybe like a gym battle or something like that. So I'm gonna have to switch out my Eevee. It's, it's definitely not entertaining to use Eevee all the way. Alright, PG leveled up. Hopefully, he evolves. Oh, Wing Attack. It's very useful. Okay, so let's uh, learn Wing Attack. I think Wing Attack is definitely more powerful than Gust. 60 100% hit. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Gusto. Okay. Alright, robbing kits as usual. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of Eevee. I'm probably gonna move Eevee away. We're gonna have... I think we can have our female Nidoran. Uh, that's the next best thing to use, I suppose. Alright. So if you recall, this journey towards Bill's home is a pretty treacherous one with lots of trainers. So I think this episode might end up picking up uh, completing this portion of Cerulean City. Um, oh, no no. Do I have Pokemon? Oh, I do have Bell Sprout though, so I I don't know. We could should switch to Bell Sprout. I don't know. Nidoran should be able to handle. Um, yeah, I have Bite, so I could use it against Psyduck. <laughs> he didn't move. Okay, so I'm gonna kick you now. There we go. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Um, I guess the bite is definitely doing a lot more damage. Double kick. Alright. What? She only has one Pokemon? Go, you need to work harder, man. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Mega Bridge, 
Um, I mean, for new players, definitely you will not know what the Nugget Bridge um, has in store for the player. Um, I won't spoil it for any one of you guys uh, if you are a first time player of a Pokemon game. Um, Nugget Bridge is to be, um, I would say, a very solid point of the start of a major. Um, I would say villain, villainy crew. <laughs> uh, I think I just spoiled the game for you, but uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, the game is pretty old. <laughs> uh, it's just that it's given a new visual look and style. Although I have to say, I think Mao Mu was really the beginning, but um, in the past we didn't have Jesse and James. Um, appearing in the game at all uh, until I, I can't really I think it was what remake was it Leaf, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green then we really got to see a digitalized version of Jesse and James oh Central New or Poison New okay there we go So the Pokemon designs back then in Gen 1 were really really adorable, uh, mainly because they all were taken from um, inspirations from real animals and all that stuff, um, which I think a lot of the original Pokemon fans appreciated more uh, as compared to maybe Gen, Gen 4 onwards where Pokemon started to take the resemblance of uh, physical items and stuff. I might be wrong though, so on the generation, but yeah. Uh, a lot of the old fans were like complaining because like, oh that doesn't feel like a Pokemon. I mean, but to me personally, I, I enjoy the series as a uh, whole. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to flinch. So, um, yeah. So, I, I didn't mind having a new kind of variation of Pokemon styles in terms of design. Um, I think they were pretty creative. Um, and that they, they managed to make it work um, in the world of Pokemon. Um, like for me personally, when um, when they released the design for the ice cream Pokemon, the the one that looks like an ice cream cone, I kind of forgot the name. <coughs> um, yeah, so that one really was I, I don't know. Uh, to me, I think it was pretty adorable. Um, that when it evolves, it becomes a double scoop of ice cream as well. <laughs> so, to me, I think it was quite cute. Um, and oh yeah, helping hand. Hmm. Should I learn double again? I mean, we don't have a lot of double battles. So. Um, hmm. Nah, I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna keep our own moves up. Yeah, so. I think it's pretty adorable, um, especially for um, new Pokemon fans of the newer generation. Um, I think they will definitely find that maybe it's a cute design. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost at the end of the bridge though, but we still got a ton of trainers to handle because of Bill. Hopefully that we don't have to take like the whole episode just to get the deal. <laughs> so I have a feeling that we might. Okay, so we've got Growlithe. Um, Nidoran is definitely not the Pokemon to handle the Growlithe. Um, I don't really have anyone that's suitable. So let's just um, struggle along, I guess. Oh boy, please don't kill me. Okay, we don't really die. Big bunch of damage considering the amount of things we have to face later on. Um, poison Sting. We haven't really been using the Pokemon um, hyping moves. So, Nuzo Man is a bit injured, so we're gonna switch out uh, for the male one. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, 
Um, we do have Horn Attack, so... Um, okay, since we don't have anything super effective against Growlithe... There we go. Might as well do some heavy damage. Alright. At least he had better balls. <laughs> I can't believe why I just said. Okay, so um, we have reached the end of the Nugget Bridge, which is fantastic. Congratulations, you beat our five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. We got a nugget from the mysterious trainer. Hmm. By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? What? <laughs> it's a recruitment campaign. All right, that's right. A group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Uh, want to join? You just said that your organization is doing evil. Why would anyone want to join you when you announce that you're an evil organization? You, God, your promotion, your promotional materials are just out of whack. So, um, are you sure? Come on, join us. Are you pressurizing me to join you? I'm gonna whoop your ass. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Really? So, going into a Pokemon battle is an offer. I would like to leave without fighting you. <laughs> Maybe you could have bribed me with like 200 nuggets. <laughs> I'll join Team Rocket. Alright, so poison versus poison. Not so ideal. Um, I don't have an electric Pokemon, although Eevee does have an electric Pokemon. I suppose we could use Eevee. Bellsprout is definitely not the way to go. Okay, maybe we can make use of PG. Flying and flying, aerial battle. I kind of miss the aerial um, combat scenario that um, I think was Sun and Moon or was it Black and White? I can't really recall. But they specifically designed a flying arena um, or flying type new, uh, Pokemon to battle in. I can't really recall which generation. I think it was Sun and Moon. Hmm. So, PG is pretty really doing quite well. I uh, didn't expect PG to be like doing so much damage, even though like you know, four levels are hit. Too bad. All right, there we go. Clapping. So, nah, we're gonna keep going with PG. PG is doing well. Okay. We do have the wing attack, so let's do some damage. That's not a lot of damage, but okay. <laughs> okay. Can't wait for PG to learn Brave Bird or something like that. Okay, let's see whether Quick Attack will do any more damage than Wing Attack. Apparently not. Oh boy. Oh crap. Oh, that's not good. Getting Poison and uh, Critical Hit as well. We definitely can KO Coughing. I'm good. Who do you think I am? <laughs> I mean, we're an upcoming Pokemon master, so with your skills you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of an opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Um, well, you just gave up trying to recruit me and telling me about. Oh, wait. I just missed. <laughs> oh, that was just. So coincidental that I happen to move in front of the person and then we turn direction. So, hmm. Sparrow. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I probably should have switched out the leader and. Uh, I don't know, it's fine. Uh, 11 versus 15, that's okay. Uh, let's 
leave this barrel on the bike. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no, need a rifle. Oh no. Okay, I thought I could have at least taken one hit. Oh well. Let's uh, I choose you. The rest of my Pokemon are really under level. So that's where the difficulty of battle begins. But I stop using um, D, I suppose. Okay, so I kind of make the spell flinch. It's fine. Ow, ow. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so I do have a quick attack. So hopefully, you're gonna be faster than the spell. Oh, there we go. So I think after this, we're gonna have to head back to the Pokemon Center. Um, because my Pokemon are really... Oh, there's a Meow! Do I want to catch a Meow? I gotta check my um, Pokemon inventory because I really can't remember all the Pokemon that I have currently. Do I have a Meow? Um, I should sort my Pokemon though. I'm gonna sort them by Pokedex number. Um, do I have a Meow? No, I don't. I have two Bell Sprouts. Here. That's kind of strange. Two Pidgeys. Two Canopies. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna catch a Meow. And I think there's a Venonet as well. So I'm gonna catch more Pokemon. And then to the Pokedex just so I can get Bubble Saw. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna catch this. Oh, dang it. Why do you have to attack? There we go. Oh, we didn't get excellent. Slightly too late. Not sure whether you guys can hear the Pokeball Plus from the microphone. Oh, forgot that Nidoran is knocked out. Okay, so Nidoran won't be getting EXP. Venonet. So Venonet is extra large because of the red um, rings around it. Alright, here we go. Toss! Okay, I wasn't really going for the excellent, <laughs> but anyways. Hey, we did it. Okay. Pokemon Plus is really loud. I don't know whether you guys can hear it or not, but hopefully you guys can. Go, we got Venonet. So we've got 21 Pokemon now. Okay, we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center just so that Nidoran can gain the XP. And okay, there should be a jumping hatch here. There we go. Continuing on with our adventure, let's go find Bill. I guess this is the guy that gives me the Charmander. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who have never watched the original first generation Pokemon anime, um, Charmander was actually mistreated and uh, kind of like uh, discarded by the Pokemon trainer, his previous trainer, before Ash picked him up. Uh, so. Yeah, so I don't know whether this trainer is actually pretty much a uh, reminiscent to that episode because um, he said that he couldn't treat Charmander right, so he wants to pass it on. But this is a much, I say, 
gentler version of compared to the anime character where Charmander was really really mistreated you know left to die on you know, a rock okay so we do have fighting moves that will be effective against Diglett I suppose oh no hopefully we don't miss there we go let's do another double kick Oh man, we don't have a lot of status moves. <laughs> we definitely should be able to knock you out. Even with the attack being dropped. Fantastic. So we didn't lose any HP against the Niglet. So the younger the trainer, the, the lousier the ball quality, I suppose, that you get from them. Yeah. Okay, let's go get the fella out of the way. Whew! Onyx! Okay, Nido Ren definitely can kick Onyx ass. <laughs> Eating, fighting this gigantic, humongous rock snake. <laughs> Ow! Oh my goodness, the damage is pathetic, even though it's super effective. Holy crap! Oh well, Onyx is one level below my Nido Ren, so. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm gonna get rid of Onyx as fast as possible, because if not, his rate is gonna. Oh no. Oh no, I have a feeling I might get one hit KO. <laughs> this is not looking good. Um, um, okay, I'm going to switch out for Eevee because I have a feeling that if I continue on with Nidoran, she's going to get knocked out in one hit. That's not looking good. <laughs> Okay, thank goodness for the level difference. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, KO the Onyx with a water move. There we go. Gave me Pokeballs. Okay, there goes the theory about um, the older the trainer, the better the Pokeballs. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so there is a ball here at the end. There's a lot of meows. Um, pick it up, please. Thank you. Okay, so let's move on. It's a lot of meows. Oh my goodness. I don't need another Meow, let's go. Okay, so running away. Alright, let's continue on. I mean, I would like, I would definitely want to clear all the trainers here. Um, just for the AXP purpose, so we can get ready for Misty. And Bird Keeper Joey. Okay, so I don't have anything that is useful against PG Auto um, except Eevee, which I'll try to avoid using. Let's poison the bird. Hopefully, we do. We haven't really poisoned any opponents so far. Oh my goodness, look at the amount of damage. Holy crap. Okay, so the poison is not kicking in. Oh boy. Oh, really? Okay, this is a tough one. Um, I guess we just go flying versus flying. But looking at the level difference, uh, we're gonna take a bit of damage because 
well, PGO don't use any more Pokemon, so the damage is definitely significant, I suppose. Ow. Okay. Oh no, it's faster than me. Oh no. Okay, I don't think I don't think quick attack is gonna do me any good. But let's trust try. I don't hoping for a critical hit. No, no critical hit. Oh no, there goes PG. Bye bye PG. <laughs> if I had a critical hit I would have won. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are definitely slow. I think Rattata should be faster than PG Auto. Maybe. Do this. Uh, we do have a quick attack, so definitely we're gonna take the win. Oh, now you give me the critical hit. What in the world? It's just really, uh, uh really unlucky. Oh well. Okay, so we lost the Pokemon. Oh, they are evolving, finally! So we're gonna add two more Poke uh, Pokemon to the Pokedex. So we got about 23 Pokemon now. We just need seven more. We're gonna have to change out the Nidorans, uh, Nidorina and Nidorino uh, right now because uh, we can't really evolve them any further because they need Moonstone. So there's really no point in using them any further. Let's just probably use another Pokemon to level them up to have them evolve to get the Pokedex count. Alright, so the female one is able to stand on two legs first. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Really never taken note of it, uh, you know, in the past. So let's go to the page for the party. We'll shake the Pokeball. And remove these two. Remove from party. Remove from party. Okay, we can't have... Hmm... I don't know. We need more varieties, I suppose. We could use Psyduck to have water Pokemon. Then we can use maybe a Geodude for against flying. Yeah, so let's do that. So I'm gonna have Side Up in. And we're gonna add Geodude. Okay, I think we're good. Um, let's switch out the Pokemon. I guess we could have... No, Psyduck is pretty too weak right now. Geodude is too weak as well. I think Bellsprout will do. Unless we keep encountering flying Pokemon along this path, then we'll, be a, we'll have a problem. Okay. Okay, I think I can. Oh no, I can use a poison type. Oh no, plants are weak against poison. I'm gonna have to switch. Uh, Rattata, I choose you. Rattata. I know, I know its name is Rattata, but I, I, I've always been calling it Rattata, so I'm just gonna go with what I'm most comfortable with. So it's not a good idea to have a rat fight against a snake, as in, like, in real life, snakes eat rats, so. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we don't have Super Fang or anything like that. But we do have Bite though. Oof. Please don't get poisoned. Okay. okay, we're gonna go with another Bite. Then hopefully if, uh, KO on the attack. Oh, flinch! Yay! We 
we go. So quick attack to kill. Knock out, sorry. We don't kill Pokemon here. <laughs> There we go. What's he gonna use? I, I, I kind of missed the... Oh, okay. So it's gonna be a rat battle. So... I don't know. I thought it was a pretty fun pun. Rat battle. Like rat battle. So you have like DJ Rat Ratatas wrapping it out. <laughs> Um, hopefully we'll be faster. There we go. And that's it. Fantastic. Hopefully the Psyduck and the Geodu will level up quite a bit. No? Okay, that's kind of sad. Um, yeah, Bellsprout will definitely go well against him. The fella. What? Geodo is faster than Bellsprout? Oh my goodness. How is that possible? Ow! Okay. Surprised that he survived. Um, I guess we can go with the message this way. And I'm showing different moves. You know that. I don't know. The asset doesn't look like acid, it looks more like lava. That's what I leveled up. Really evolved. Ah, my chop. Oh, uh, yeah, fighting Pokemon. Wait, does Mom Moon have fighting Pokemon? Hmm. Are we get poison? No? Oof. Oh. I guess we could do the rap and do a continuous amount of human and health. I guess rap was really animated for Ekans, considering that they use like a purple spring thing. Okay. We will find whip for the KO, I suppose. Oh! Not quite. And there we go. Alright, we are almost halfway there. So the thing about these two trainers is you want to get the one at the top, the guy that's looking downwards to move out of the way so that you can actually get the Pokeball there without the use of uh, cut. Um, but in this game there is no HM so um, you can... I mean like the new HM is actually the techniques that the Eevee or Pikachu will learn to clear the stuff along the way. So yeah. Oh, so How convenient. Yeah, I have my Bell Spell out. <laughs> gonna whip your ass. Whoop! What? Bellsprout! You failed me twice! Why can't you just one kill both of them? Oh no, you're confused. Please don't... Please don't knock yourself. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. You do level up. Fantastic. Okay, so thank goodness we are out of this battle. Okay, so we're gonna just continue on to the right um, to get him out of the way. There we go.
Oh, convenient again. I have a feeling Bellsprout will not do the trick to knock out Squirtle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go, the disappointing Vine Whip. As expected. Okay, so... Um, I think Acid might do the trick. Considering it's a special attack instead of a physical. But Squirtle does have a very high physical defense. Okay. So even the campers are richer than the, the hikers. Hikers can only afford to give me all the balls. Oh, Thunder Wave. Useful. Okay, so let's go on. We're almost at the end. Last few trainers. I'm at Atta. Okay, let's see where the value. Oh, yeah. What cute Pokemon? Don't tell me you're using a Clefairy. I'll be, I'll be pretty jealous as well. Because I only got a Clefable. <laughs> I don't have a Clefairy. Oddish. Cool. So it's a battle of plant Pokemon. I do have Acid. <laughs> Which is super effective against plants. Pick that. Wait, what? No, you have Acid too. Okay, I'm, I'm... Oh no, Pidgey is knocked out, right? Oh, dang it. Um, there goes my... No, I can't run. Oh no, that's not run, that's a bad icon. So, yeah, they used to have the run button in the old games. I guess they removed it since you can't run away from the trainer battles. Um, hmm, pretty interesting. I didn't notice it until now. Um, even though I completed Let's Go Pikachu. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the little things that you notice during um, game recordings you pay more attention, I suppose. Okay. Oh, PG. Okay, we're definitely switching. Um, Rock, we do need Geodude to handle PG because Rock is definitely better against flying types. Hopefully we can dish out enough damage because Geodude is definitely under level. Okay, we have Rock Troll, let's do this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that much, but okay. <laughs> Seems like we don't really have anything else to use other than Bite, but Bite is gonna like take two turns, so that's kind of ridiculous to wait. What? Oh yeah, it has mo Mirror Move. Okay, so I kind of forgot. It's quite surprising to see PG with Mirror Move. You know, older games, they didn't learn Mirror Move. Um, or rather, I think Mirror Move didn't exist. I don't know. Um... I'm talking about the Game Boy era where um, the original yeah, red, yellow, blue, green existed, not the fire, not the remakes, you know. So, hmm. Back in the days, PG, you only learned Tackle, you learned Gust at level 5, that I definitely remember. And when you finally learned Gust, it was like, woo! There was so much of a difference. Hey, Magica! You know, bind with your ass, and I don't know if I cannot even knock out a magic cup with bind whip. This bell sprout is definitely a worth the trash bin, <laughs> you know, tossing it away. Oh no. Okay, okay, I'm not, I'm not entirely disappointed. All right, Krabby. Send up Mr. Crafts. Alright, so don't know whether we can actually KO Krabby with this. And obviously not. Whoa. So useful. Okay. And yeah, definitely going to KO Krabby. Because we're faster than it. 
Shabby, what? Sleep powder? Hmm. Is sleep powder better? I don't know. I think I think paralyzed powder is better. Considering that we do a lot of attacks and then we're gonna wake up the Pokemon. Maybe even poison powder. It really depends on what you need it for. Okay, I think that was the last trainer along this, this way. Uh, yeah, we're here at Bill's house. Um, and there is a... Uh, I don't know, I don't think we can handle this trainer just yet because our Pokemon is kind of like KO. Um, I could run back to heal then we can tackle her. Okay, let's go do that. Let's, let's clear all the trainers along the way. I don't want to leave anyone behind. Every little bit counts. This is a very long path. Come on. What do you find? Oh, silver raspberry. Cool. So the thing about this game, berries are very rare to come by. Um, unlike Pokemon Go. Um, sadly to say you can't transfer items from Pokemon Go to this game because it would have been a lot easier to have more berries available in your pocket for easier catch rates. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean like Pokemon games have always been restrictive of their item transfers especially between generations because like certain games don't have certain items that kind of thing. And maybe like the, the stats or the, the methods of use might have changed. I don't know. Okay, so let's head back up again. So like I said, if we had the bicycle things would have been a lot faster. But sadly to say this game doesn't have that component anymore. Um, I don't have a riding Pokemon yet. I mean I do have Onyx but Onyx moves slow as hell. So <laughs> Okay, so let's... Oh, it's, it's pretty cute to see TV riding on my head riding, uh, while I'm running across the bushes and you can't really see me. <laughs> Adorable. Okay, I'm back here. So we're gonna handle the trainer here. Let's do this. Hopefully you give me a more challenge as compared to the trainers that I came across. Okay, the, the bird keeper was tough though. So considering that I wasn't using E. Okay, Bell Sprout is definitely gonna handle you well. Wrap um, you up first. Seismic Pump. Ooh, the animation is pretty. Okay. It gives a bit of the Dragon Ball Fighter animation and the falling portion. Asset you. Once again. Seismic Toss does a lot of damage. Can I kill you with fire? Let's find out. Apparently not. Fine whip, you disappoint me once again. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodbye, Bell Sprout. Oh man. And I thought we were doing okay. Um, definitely either nah, definitely PG. Because fighting Pokemon is weak against flying types. Wing attack. Huh? 
Oh, that's it. One Pokemon? Are you gonna give me a TM for Seismic Toss? Hey, I was right. <laughs> I was just guessing. I couldn't really remember because it's been some time since I played Let's Go Pikachu. So, yeah, that was nice. It was pretty obvious that Machop only had like a single move. There we go. Let's build. Ah, <laughs> Bill is a Nidorino. Hey, he stood up. So it's a Nidoran. I mean, not Nidoran. I mean, Nidorina. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a Pokemon. No, I mean, uh, I'm Bill. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. Yeah, he screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Um, to be honest, I'm surprised they did not make full um, use of Bill's device to like combine people with Pokemon. That would be pretty cool instead of having like Z moves where you become one with the Pokemon through emotions and experiences. I mean, to, to join in, to become a Pokemon itself, it becomes a bit more like a Digimon. Um, what's that that series um, where you merge? Oh, Tamers, where where you where you find the final Digiv Digivolution uh, merges you with your Digimon, and you become one together. So this thing could have been implemented in a Pokemon series, but I'm surprised it didn't. It's been like coming to set, uh, eight, coming to eight generations already, and this was not implemented at all. It will have been a pretty good, um, I say, concept to implement like a finishing move, like Z moves and that kind of stuff. So, hmm, I don't know. Game Freak, think about something. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter so you run the cell separation system for me. I'm pretty surprised that um, for a kid who has no idea on how all this high tech mumbo jumbo, you can actually program or uh, work this program. <laughs> Oh well, whatever. You can do it for that P uh, from that PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, pal. Okay, let's do this. Not that I know how to, but okay. The screen says something about teleporter. Whoa! I should get in there. Don't mess this up, okay? Start up the cell separation system on the teleporter. Okay. We got a cutscene. Oh. Hey, it's Bill. It's so weird to see him in 3D. <laughs> Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. Hey, you got your Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job. So, in the past games, the original three games, even the remake, um, Pokemon box was designed by Bill for the computer. I mean, like the computer in the Pokemon Center you use to store Pokemon. But in this game, you don't have that anymore. Basically, your bag is your Pokemon box. So I don't know. Times have changed. So if you ever catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'll be mighty thankful. Uh, oh, look at me! I'll forget my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you too. You did save me after all. Yeah, maybe this will do. Hey. SS in it, it used to be called SS in now it's just SS tickets I don't know oh there it is SS in and whatever you want to pronounce it as pulls into port in Vermilion City they invited me to some party on board but I can't stand fancy gatherings why don't you go instead of me there are a couple of tickets in there so have some fun with a friend or something okay we'll just do right that um so I don't know 
I kind of missed the old Pokemon box sorting mechanism. I wish they had it with this game. Um, I mean, it is convenient to not touch the computer just to transfer Pokemon, uh, store Pokemon. Um, they could have implemented the page sorting system instead, like I mentioned in earlier episodes of this gameplay. Um, yeah. So, hmm. It is pretty inconvenient, you know, now that you have to um, search for your Pokemon, especially those that you have like uh, perfect IVs and all that stuff, then you need to you know, coordinate your order of your Pokemon so that you don't accidentally send them off to Professor Oak. So the earlier concept of like uh, Pokemon Go, I guess, was back in the Ben episode for the first anime where Ash went to the Safari Zone and caught a bunch of Taurus and he transferred to he transferred all the Taurus to Professor Oak. I guess that's the first earlier concept of Pokemon Go, if you really think about it. You know, considering that you get to send Pokemon to Professor Oak and you get candy and stuff. Uh, I don't know. So anyway guys, we have just tackled the entire portion towards Bill's house. There's really nothing towards that direction anymore. And all we have to do now is to tackle Cerulean City Gym with Misty in it. And we could probably move onwards to the story, but we're gonna leave that for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this episode has been pretty entertaining for you guys. And of course, if you like what you see in here and look forward to more Pokemon uh, Let's Go episodes like this, just let me know by hitting the like button or commenting down below on how much you enjoyed the adventure with me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Go Eevee. Until then, bye!